All right, welcome back to Atelier Sophie. Uh, so what are we going to do now? We have so many things to do, really. Um, like, we have Julio's event to go to the Seal Tempo. We got Leon to synthesize the Brouch. We got Lodge to bring forgotten materials, but we don't know where to get forgotten materials. And then Plokta, we've got this main one where we need to go to the Scar of the Land. Make the Key of Truth by gathering these materials. And to find out where these materials are, i got to talk to Oscar, Monica, and Julio. Um, but first, what we're going to do is actually go to the world map, and we're going to go to the Scar of the Land with Plokta. Got a destination? Yes. We're going to go to the Scar of the Land. Because last time we got annihilated by a beast. <laughs> the scar of the land. A deep chasm cut straight into the earth. Yeah, it's a really amazing place. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Sophie, I'd like to ask you something. What kind of power do you believe alchemy to be? Alchemy? Hmm... Well, I think it's like a power from a dream, maybe? I was able to meet you thanks to alchemy, and I'm able to go places with you thanks to it too. We couldn't have come here like this if it wasn't for alchemy. Don't you think it's the stuff of dreams? Yes, as you said, I believe alchemy is a wonderful power, with near limitless potential. However, at the same time, Alchemy has another, much different side to it. Sophie, do you have any idea how the Scar of the Land was created? No, not at all. To tell the truth, the Scar of the Land was cut into the Earth by alchemy. What? A huge chasm like this? The possibilities of alchemy are countless. Enough to make it seem like something from dreams. However, it also has the power to cause great calamities. Misuse of alchemy can turn that grand dreamlike power into nightmares. Nightmares which can then turn on us. The form alchemy takes depends on the thoughts and desires of the alchemist using it. I want you to remember this. I get what you're saying, Plakta. But it's okay. I would never use alchemy for bad things. Sophie... Alchemy is such an amazing power. I think it would be much better to use that power to help people, not do bad things with it. <laughs> I see. It seems I didn't need to talk to you about this, Sophie. That's right. Did you really think I'd do bad things with alchemy? <laughs> You're right, I was mistaken. Anyway, we should return to the Atelier. Okay, so she wanted us to come here for a warning, it seems like. Um, well, since we're near this area, I want to double back... Got a destination? ...to the Husk Forest. Hmm. Because I know that we can face... We have the killing request that we need... Um, particular enemy for it, and I know we can find it here, or at night anyway. Hmm. Do we have to kill some of these poonies? Maybe. Oh no, there it is. Damn it. Just getting started. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. So we're good. Ugh. Wow, she hit really hard there. <laughs> I'll go too. Here I go. There. <sighs> Hope this hits. Okay. Why you? All right, easy enough. Before I even realized it. Okay, so let's head on back now, because that's all we needed. Just wanted to kill 
that to finish the request. Um, we could go to, to an area we haven't been to, like City of the Lost. Maybe we'll find some forgotten items there. Let's see. We have not been to this area before. Oh, that is a stronger one, I think. We can try and take it on. I don't know if we'll be successful. Okay. Because we have not Get fought the, this version of it before. Let's see how much HP it's got. Eh, it's not too bad. So let's use our stall ice bomb and just regular attacks. The problem with using items is they don't do the link attacks with them, but... They are stronger. Yeah. There. I'll go too. Fire. Sure. What? We didn't kill it. That's disappointing. Someone might die here. Okay, everybody lived somehow. I think I'm we should be able to win pretty easily now, though. How much longer can I last? There we go. We did it. Tons we of experience too for that. Bit a chunk, good chunk of coal as well. Uh, oh, that is a puny we have never fought before. But our HP is kind of hurting, so. Uh. Trying to avoid confrontation here. Oh boy. There we go. I guess if we can heal up, we're okay. So let's see what we got here. Um, should we try to take on this puny? Hey! All right, let's see what happens here. This looks easy. It's just let's one. Nine hundred and fifty HPs. We only hit it for 12? Well, that is not this good. Is that is not good at all. Yeah. Why are we doing no damage to it? There. Sure. We did 100 damage. What's your deal? What's your deal? Oh boy. <laughs> Goodbye, Harold. Damn it. Well, luckily. We have this nectar of life that we're gonna use on Harold. Here, use this. I'll thank you later. This one will hurt. That's fine. All right, we're gonna beat Here, this puny. Take this. Sorry, that Why really helps. You? What will you do? Yeah, now? we broke it. Nice. Two are better than one. You won't get away. Wow, we did a ton of damage there. What the fudgesicles? All right, let's just attack normally. We should be able to win now, I think, I hope. Ah! Oh, when you break it, it takes a ton of damage. Okay. Why you? We're just getting started. Yeah. I'm mad now. I can do it if I try to. We just got a trophy. Yeah! Well, we won 240 coal. 
But, uh, we need to be able to break them. Oh, we got... an idea. Okay, so maybe that was worth fighting, I guess. Uh, we don't want to face any more of those punies, though. They're kind of hard to kill. Uh, unless we have a reliable way of breaking them. It's not really ideal. Uh, something's chasing us. I don't know what it is. Let's get a couple more items from here. I think that was a good uh, golden puny ball, though, that we got, though. Should we face one of these birds? Hey! They're probably weak, I think. The fun's just getting started. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah. Fire. Sure. Okay, that was not good, that piercing armor ability, but that's okay. Wide open. Why you there? Here I go. Please do it. Yeah, that should kill it. We did it. Not much experience. Treasure chest though. And I just want to gather this thing here, and then we'll get out of here. Oh, shoot. I ran right into that accidentally. But it's only one, so it should be okay. That was not intentional at all. Here I go! I understand. Wide open! Okay. Fire. Yeah! Harold did like 200 damage to this thing. Pretty good. Realized it. These are pretty good for experience though, because they're relatively easy to kill and they give a ton of experience. Um Anyways, let's get out of here. Got a destination? Uh yeah. Yeah. We haven't been to this area yet, the Dead Tree Wasteland, but I think there's a couple areas we haven't been to. We haven't been there, we haven't been here to the fertile shore. And we haven't been to the place that Julia wants us to go, which is down here at the Sealed Temple. But we're going to go back to Kirchen Bell. No, I think I went to the wrong place. Kirchen Bell. There we go. Alright, back to our Atelier. We'll probably get a scene. We haven't heard from Mechlid and uh, at Tomina in a while. I wonder what they're up to. They seem very I suspicious, so... But we learned how to make the white hot headband, and we learned how to make the mind's eye monocle. Uh, doll making. Oh yeah, that's right. We unlocked that. I forgot about that. Um, okay, time to make Plakta's body better. Modify uses four materials to customize Plakta's body. The materials you can select are determined by a category. You must choose from each list of candidates. What should I use? So this stuff is okay, it increases a bit everywhere. Do you have anything better than that though? Not really. Alright, we'll do that. The value of these trends will change Plakta's appearance, okay. Alright, what do we got here that's good? Um, I think this is better, right? The feather is good. Um, although the fair Farden light, I think, is even better. Let's sort by just encyclopedia. What's better, this or this? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Farden light. What should I use? Ooh. Crystal Ball seems pretty good. Oh, that's alchemy drops are even better. And so is the Noble, Noble Sapphire. We'll go with that. And... Hmm. 
All right, let's see what happens. New will come from this. Is this really okay? Do it. I don't know what this is gonna make her look like, but it's got question mark question mark. I did it. It's done. All right, I kind of like that. It's not bad. <laughs> Just got a bunch of trophies. Very different. <laughs> um, so let's go talk to Monica. Monica, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? Um, well. I see. Yeah, so I was wondering if you had any ideas about the materials Plock that mentioned. Come to think of it, those sun drops, I feel like I heard about them in the past. Really? Yes, but where did I hear about it? I'm sorry, I can't remember. No, don't worry about it, it's not your fault. I'm sorry I couldn't be of any use. It's fine, really, don't worry about it. I'll see you later. Okay, that- you're useless. You're useless, woman. All right, let's talk to... where is Oscar? Uh, since we can't talk to Oscar, let's go talk to Julio. Sir Julio, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? I'll answer what I can. Well... I see. You need those materials to create the key of truth. Yes, I thought you might know something about them. Let's see. I know about the Eternity Scales. They're scales that you can collect from a certain monster. Wait, really? Where can I find this monster? Sophie, do you really intend to go fight it? It's widely known to be especially ferocious. Huh? Really? Yes, even in my country, many adventurers have fallen victim to it. You mustn't go into this half-heartedly. Still, it doesn't matter. I need the Eternity Scales. Not just for me, but for Plakta too. I need to make the key of truth. Yeah, it seems your determination stands firm. I understand. I'll tell you where you can find it. Also, I'll protect you. You'll be fine. I'm sure that heaven will be on our side as well. Sir Julio, thank you so much. Um, where is Oscar hiding? Alright, let's just go to the cafe for now. Because we have to hand in a couple of requests. Welcome. Which request will you... Ooh, we barely finished this one in time. <laughs> we have a lot of these, so we'll turn this in now. Um... Thank you. Except that one. Uh, we'll turn this one in. Thank you. And I think that's it Welcome. for now. What sort of rumors are there? Well, the ruler of the ocean annihilated us, so. <laughs> um. Is that rumor okay? Thank. I wonder where Oscar is hiding. It's kind of annoying Are that I don't know where he is. Maybe he's just not around on this day of the week. I come. Back. Hello, Corey. Ah, Sophie. Hello. You're listening to that music box again? Yes, I really like this tune. I see. <laughs> I really like it too. You do. <laughs> I see. Um, Sophie? Hmm? What is it, Cory? I wonder what kind of place this song was created in. Was it warm or cold? Was it in the east or the west? 
Mm, I'm curious about that too. Maybe they had some really tasty food. Is there beautiful scenery or cute animals? There might be lots of things that can't be seen around here. <laughs> that really moves the imagination. Yes, I feel really happy when I think about things like that while listening to this. I see, if you're happy, then making those parts was well worth it. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I ended up talking too much. You needed something from my store, right? Not really. I was coming to say hello. Um... I wonder where Oscar is hiding. I need to talk to him. Alright, well, we'll take a break here. Next time we'll probably go do Julio's quest as well. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find those forgotten items for Lodgy so he can make us better weapons. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.